What happens when you try to look at Chuck Norris DNA under a microscope? Well, obviously you get a black eye. I've been wanting to get one of these for a long time. I mean, think about what we could do with it. We could look at circuitry. We could look at circuitry when it blows up. We can look at machine surfaces, all kinds of stuff. But since I'm down here right now building Alex Labs, AKA the big barn dominion build, I'm kind of limited as to what we can look at. I wanted to at least take this thing through its paces. And what do we have to look at? Well, Roger, not Roger specifically, he won't fit. But Roger is a chick magnet. He's also a tick magnet. So here's a tick that Roger brought in. Now this tick is incapacitated, maybe. And how did I incapacitate him? With some high dollar bourbon. Now I know before all you eco freaks just lose your minds and go, that was really cruel. Well, just remember what happens when you spray tick poison on a tick. At least this guy got to go out plastered. And before we look at the microscope image, here's a tick next to my finger to give you an idea of the scale that we're dealing with. Now let's take a look at the tick. Now I'm no Scientologist, but this here is what they call a bug. Look at the magnificent rack of antlers, the large tusks in the front. Tusk, by the way, is some weird Fleetwood Mac song that for some reason audiophiles like to listen to on their stereos. But this is a tick. If you're watching this video, you're either a subscriber or somebody who wants to see a tick up close in person because you either found something that you think is a tick on yourself or your dog, or you're just weird. Ticks are actually arachnids. They're in the spider family, but they spread disease. If you find one on yourself or one of your animals, take it off as soon as you can. There's a bunch of videos on YouTube on how to actually do that. One of the nastiest diseases that ticks transmit is called Lyme disease, which weirdly has nothing to do with limes but does give you symptoms of things like uh, fever, headache, fatigue, and a skin rash. And if you don't treat it, it can spread to your joints, to your heart, to your nervous system. Basically, it has all the same effects as the side effects of Ozempic. Probably, maybe, I could be wrong. I don't know, don't sue me, big pharmaceutical company. Oh, and what is this tube on its underside? Is this where they inject you with nanobots so the government can control you? I need to adjust my tinfoil hat. By the way, do you ever notice that people that believe in stuff like that tend not to be the sharpest tools in the shed? But I digress. And as for this microscope, I watched a ton of review videos and this one seems to give the best balance of performance versus price. There's a link in the description below if you wanna buy one, but yeah, I expect this thing to crop up in a bunch of different videos as we proceed through all our fun little ridiculous projects and maybe we'll take an up close and personal look at some other part of Roger. Thanks for watching, give me a thumbs up and I will catch you all in the next one. The Tick. Spoon!